Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it is a new year, and I thought it would be nice to make a video showing you guys some of the other rank ups that I did. Now you have the Mystery Rank Up Theater, which is usually my rank five or a six star being ranked up. But I also rank up little guys like Sasquatch here. All right, uh, you can see that I have three rank up gems and you'll notice that I ranked him up without using one of them. You're gonna see how I use those gems. Now, the reason that I did this uh, without using the gem is because I had the catalyst. I had the mystic catalyst that I could rank him up using my resources. Uh, but as you'll see with some of the other rank ups, I didn't have the catalyst needed. And that's when I decided to use the uh, two to three rank up gems. Now, I've had a goal for a very long time now. Uh, before we were able to rank up a five star to rank five, I wanted to have all of my five stars at rank two. Primarily, this was for arena purposes because you risk getting a death match if you went too low. And at that time, rank ones, you could get a death match. If you had rank twos, you were fine. So I wanted everyone to get to rank two. Then you can rank five, a five star, and you started getting six stars and, you know, able to rank them up. And so it moved the uh, bar up. So now I wanted to get all of my five stars to rank three. But of course, I get new champions. I might grind for one in the arena. Uh, recently, I got seven new champions in one week. If you haven't seen the videos, go look at the Cyber Weekend videos and also the um, holiday crystals. And you'll see what happened. Okay. Um, got seven of them. All right. So now for Hit Monkey here, I don't have any skill. I just took Aegon up to rank five. So I used up all of my skill. So if I wanted to get him to rank three, I could wait until I had some skill. I could open up a bunch of the T4 class catalyst crystals, hoping to get skill or use one of those rank up gems. And I love them. I love the two to three and the three to four rank up gems. Um, but uh, I would love to get the one to twos as well because they all help me to achieve my goal. All right. So Hit Monkey, by the way, was one of the champions that I got recently during the uh, Cyber Weekend. Uh, Sasquatch was as well. Also had a Guardian. Uh, I took him up, I uh, believe I took him up to uh, four so far. Uh, but these are the rank ups that I usually don't make a video on, but they do help. Now, look at that row right there four science and they are all rank two right now if i remember correctly and you see she's also ranked two she's been ranked two for a long time you'll notice i have no cosmic catalyst used a rank up gem on kamala khan yes i did okay um and if you want to know how i used one of the other ones uh if i remember correctly it was either um doom or Aegon uh, that I used one on, or Wolverine. But they have their own videos, so I didn't include them in this video. All right, so Kamala Khan goes to rank three, which is likely where she's gonna stay. All right, um, she's not terrible, but I don't have any use for her. Um, but she's not a bad champion uh, by any means. Uh, but, Rank three, done. Okay, so we took up Sasquatch, we took up Hitmonkey, uh, and now we took up uh, Kamala Khan. Next up, Mr. Fantastic. I also got Mr. Fantastic during that whole Cyber Weekend um, Crystal Palooza, I guess you would say. Now, I was happy to get Mr. Fantastic, and recently 
very happy because he had a synergy I did not know about. And it came in very, very handy when I was doing uh, variant six exploration. Uh, there's a node that if you do an armor break, you power lock your opponent and you have to bring in villains. Now he's not a villain, but you can bring in non-villains for synergy. So Doom has a synergy with Mr. Fantastic that allows him to apply an armor break on his heavy. So I brought him, if you watch those videos, they're up on my channel if you haven't seen them, uh, you'll see that I bring Mr. Fantastic in. I don't fight with him, but I bring him in. Uh, Mr. Fantastic uh, was the first support champion, if I can recall, uh, that they actually designed to be support. He makes others better, okay? Um, we have others now that are great, you know, support champions, uh, and I want Apocalypse. I don't have him yet, all right? But we took uh, Mr. Fantastic up. You see, I still have uh, some science. All right. Now we've got some uh, three to four rank up gems. And you see, again, I don't have Cosmic Catalyst. So I took up the God of Thunder. And you can see he's not awakened yet. Right now he's just arena fodder. Um, I have six awakening gems that are generic. I have no Cosmic Awakening gem. So if I do get a Cosmic, I will absolutely give that to him. First pick. Uh, he gets a lot better. He does a lot more damage when he is awakened. Uh, but for now, I'm patient because even with him being awakened, it's not like I'm going to use him all over the place, you know? Um, he's still going to be mainly in Arena. But I wanted to use that because... Uh, there's not that many champions. Those three to four were uh, locked by year. And there are not that many champions that I still have that I'd be able to use those on. So Thor definitely was going to use that on Thor. Absolutely. All right. And you see here, you know, just had to clear out a, a little bit here. Should have done it uh, before, but, you know, always forget. All right. So. Now, next up, let's take a look and see who we have left. All right, see, I'm sorting by rank so that we can see who I still have at rank three. Doctor Strange is rank three. So that top row is still rank two. Okay, so guess who's going up? We gonna take him up. You know we are, right? Now, my boy Hulk... Uh, if anybody uh, has been following me, they already know. Uh, and I went back here to sell the rest of them. I was not going to sell them, but then I was like, why am I holding these? Because I already used my um, skill, and this will make things go faster because I know I'm going to need a lot of science. You saw all I had left was science champions at rank two. All right, so... You know, just to speed things up, may as well go ahead and do that. All right, so if you've been following me, you know that Hulk is by far my favorite Marvel character from when I was young. And it hurts my heart to see what they've done to him in this game. But that did not stop me from taking him up to rank three. All right, so... We took him up to rank three. Again, I have the science uh, catalyst. All right. And you see, I got six more. And boom, surprise, took him up to rank four. Because, again, these are locked by year. And I'm not going to show you guys, you know, my entire roster uh, and who I had available. But I have very, very little... Uh, you know, number of champions available that are 2017 and below that I would want to rank up that I haven't already ranked up. So that's a dwindling pool. So, of course, Hulk is getting it. So I took Hulk up to uh, rank four. And you see, I got these big boy uh, ISO. I hadn't really been using these. 
But I said, you know what? Let's go ahead and uh, use these up to top him off. Uh, it's not like I have to be all that efficient. You know, I don't need the gold. But if you're not careful, you might run out. But I don't see that happening as long as I'm still grinding arena, hitting up incursions. You know, I use gold primarily for uh, tickets in uh, AQ. I don't use anything else but gold. So uh, I don't really have to worry about them, but may as well use them up, you know? Uh, those are new ISO. I don't remember when they came into the contest, though. Um, but uh, whatever. All right, so we got all of those used up. Just needed one more there. That smart select uh, sometimes uh, trips me up. All right, so there we go. You see we're short on the T1 alphas. Uh, now, these rank ups didn't happen all at the same time. But check this out. While we were doing this, there was a level up event going on. And in a minute, you're going to see boom, 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 boom. Let's go. Science advancement. Look at that score for science advancement. Because I had tons of science champions to rank up. That was the perfect time to do it. So I'm showing you guys what my uh, catalyst situations are looking like here. Uh, but a little game that I like to play. First of all, I don't rank up champions outside of level up because level up, there's a milestone, the second to the last one, where you get units. And because I don't spend to progress in this game, I have to earn my resources by grinding it out and getting it in the game. Okay? Now, you saw how many uh, science I had left, right? So we're going to be uh, spinning a few of these. Don't worry, it's not a lot. Um, but I wanted, I just needed, um, I think I just needed one more to be able to uh, rank up another one. So uh, I can't remember, it was one or two. Now, I'm not upset about getting the Cosmics. Not at all. There's only one that I really didn't want to get too many of, and that was Tech. Uh, because we just recently was capped out on tech. All right. And then, boom, that happened. I'm like, oh, no, I don't want more of these in my overflow. But we weren't maxed out. And so I'm just like, okay, okay, come on, come on. You know, we just need that one. Now, I've actually had a bad time opening up these crystals when I wanted to get one. Just one catalyst. I ended up opening, I think, 20 of them to get the one catalyst that I wanted. It was ridiculous. Okay, so that was it. We just needed that one. Not too bad. Didn't have to open up a ton of them. And we've got that one science uh, catalyst that we needed. Uh, now, you saw I opened up, I mean, I ranked up a lot of other uh, science champions. You see that abomination there? You notice he doesn't have a arrow up that's because i already uh ranked them i just haven't leveled them and with this boom guess what that was the last champion that i had at rank two so finally for the end of 2020 i was able to to get all of my five stars to rank three and above. So at this point, I'm just uh, leveling them up, you know, to their max level. And uh, I believe I show you guys um, what we'll see. Um, I think I show you the um, ending to the uh, 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 science advancement. But in any case, I was telling you uh, the little game I play. So um, when it's a level up, of course, that's when I want to level up. But I also wait to see if there's an advancement because you can double dip. All right. Now, you can get points in advancement for using signature stones of that class. Um, you know, and I believe you can also get it for even using certain uh, boosts. But you also get it for leveling up science. 
So I was actually hoping for just this very thing because it would have been perfect. I knew that I had to, you know, in order to get all of my champions to rank three, all I had left was science. And I was like, okay, the next level up, I got to rank them up. But wouldn't it be nice if I got a science advancement? It'd be perfect. Because what I would often do if I didn't have, you know, any particular champions that I really wanted to rank up, what I would do is I would let the advancement decide. So whatever advancement, if it was a mystic advancement, I would look and say, oh, do I have a champion that is mystic that I want to take up? And then I would do it then, even if it's a four star. All right. Still rank up four stars. Now, you notice that I'm using off class ISO. I used up all of the science. You know, it's just so many science champions I ranked up. Used all of the science. And, you know, this is not efficient. If you are someone that struggles with gold, don't do this because it's very, very inefficient. You lose out uh, on gold pretty much. But gold is not really a concern of mine. And I know I have a lot of the uh, Mystic. And, you know, I had already used up some of the other ones. And so I'm like, you know what? Let's just go ahead and use these. Again, I don't recommend this because if you are struggling with gold, this is a bad thing. But I was so close. And uh, that's I just needed to do that. You know, no problem. All right. And you see this? We've got two stars. Also that are science. Hello, science. So yes, I went buck wild. Uh, I, I didn't tell uh, Big Blue. I usually tell Big Blue uh, about the rank ups that I'm, I'm doing, but I didn't tell him about this one. I wonder if he saw uh, the score that I got in the um, Summoner Advancement as well as the um, Science Advancement. I don't know if you can see that. Can't remember, uh, but the summoner advancement for sure showed, you know, me at a pretty high score. Uh, but this is what I was working on, and I was so happy when I saw that science advancement, big time. Now, uh, something that I've done in the past, I saved the two stars for this very uh, reason. Now, normally I have plenty of champions that I'm ranking up. Because I always had, you know, two uh, rank two champions that I wanted to take up to rank three or four stars that I wanted to rank up to three or four. So what I would do uh, is I would keep the two stars in reserve. So if, for example, there was a level up and there was a uh, advancement and I didn't have any four star that I really wanted to take up. I might still be able to hit that milestone uh, for the units using the two stars and maybe any three stars. So I would usually hold the three stars and the two stars back. Now, recently, Kabam changed the rewards for the objectives. So it's worth it to actually rank up, level up my two stars and my three stars outside of a level up. So I had started to do that um just recently you know if there's an advancement and there's no level up i would go and i would look and if i had some two stars i would use them okay but this time i just decided to go hog wild uh rank all these guys up if you want to know why i have the hero rating that i do you're looking at it i try to rank up everybody and uh after this video later on today I'm going to be releasing a roster reveal video, all right? And uh, you'll get to see how many six stars, five stars, four stars, all that, and their breakdown. So you'll see how many uh, five stars I have at rank five versus rank four and three. You get the idea, all right? Um, and we'll go right down uh, the list. So you'll get to see my entire roster, what I did in 2020. Now, keep in mind that I am an arena grinder. Uh, I'm a hardcore arena grinder. That is where I get my resources. 
Uh, that's how I get all that gold. That's why I have all those battle chips. If you look on my profile, and it's Lord Shadow, no space, uh, Shadow, S-H-A-E-D-O-W. That is my in-game name. If you look at my profile and you look at the PvP wins, that's what a free-to-play player's, you know, looks like if he's going to compete at a high level. Okay? Um, cause you gotta, if you're going to keep up, you've got to do that. If you're not going to spend and buy them offers, you got to do it. All right. So you see here, the last one that I wanted to mess around with was this spider ham, but you see tier one alpha, I, I just need one and the tier three basic, I can get that. Okay. So I'm sitting here thinking, I'm like, okay, I want to take him up. I want to take him up. Uh, what to do, what to do, you know, I'm looking around I'm looking over here. And I'm like, okay, uh, do I want to take up anybody else? You know, I already have a nice big score uh, in the uh, science advancement, all right? So I'm just looking around, and I'm like, okay, you know, look at this. This is beautiful. You saw that I sorted. I have no rank twos anymore, none. And I'm showing you there that Dr. Strange is the rank three. So everybody in my roster is now rank three and above. So that means I have to be very careful if I wanna continue uh, to get those units from the level up event, I need to make sure I keep getting the four stars, save the four stars for the level up events. Now, what happened in between here uh, is I opened up a bunch of those uh, crystals, the Supreme crystals, and I got one T1 alpha, and I ran the basic, uh, the daily, and got the tier three basic catalyst that I needed. So I was able to take up Spider Ham to uh, another level. Uh, I can't remember actually if I opened up crystals or if the um, store reset. I don't remember uh, which, but I know I opened up a bunch of crystals. Uh, and so we were able to take Spider Ham up to rank three. So. Now, all that I'm going to be doing, you know, is taking it easy, saving stuff up. Okay, and uh, we did get a chance to take a look at it. I thought I did. Look at that score. That's for science advancement. And that's just from ranking up, leveling up science champions. But we're not done. Okay, not done yet. Uh, just because I like to overdo things. Uh, we're going to go and, uh, you can see all the, you know, uh, six stones I have, but just look at this. Can't use any of the three star. All my three stars are maxed, but we got 32 four star and I wanted to use these on spider ham, but I could not get an awakening gem. I did open up those crystals trying to get a four star awakening gem, maybe a generic or a science. Couldn't do it, and I was not going to put so many boosts in my overflow. So we basically used them on Rhino. And that's fine, because uh, when I do get Spider-Ham Awakened, we'll do that. But check this out. We also got some five-star signature stones. And look at that void sitting there. I stopped at 180, because you never want to leave your champion at anything past 180. Either you stop at 180 or you put them to 200. All right. So I used up all the science. And then just in case I don't want to forget, um, we're going to max him out with the generics. Boom. And now finally, Void is Max Sig. All right. He is a beast. He's just not suicide friendly. So I don't tend to use him a whole lot, but he's definitely a beast. All right. So uh, I believe that is going to do it, guys. Uh, thank you all for watching this video. That is at the end of 2020. I finally achieved my goal of taking up all my champions to rank three or higher. And I will get to work on that video. Uh, you guys will see it later on today. And uh, by the time you see this one, the other one may already be completed. 
All right, but take care. Uh, Happy New Year to all of you, and I hope you all have a blessed day.